Don Snyder was definitely a visionary for this all because he saw the impact that the Smith Center ultimately would have on revitalizing downtown, but bringing, bringing into the city for the first time a real cultural base. The salute tonight for Don and Dee Snyder is entirely appropriate, and we wish Don and Dee the very best, and we thank them for what they have done for our community. And Don, there will be other challenges ahead once the center is open. We've got other things in mind for you and Dee as well. I would classify him as just being the glass is half full type of guy. You know, there's no bad weather to Don. He is focused, uh, he is sensitive, he's kind, and um, the type of guy that you know where you stand. And, and uh, his contribution to the Smith Center has been his incredible way to focus on issues. And, and to integrate those issues into a business plan that makes sense. Well, the 12-13 season is going to be quite unique for the Philharmonic because our unique abilities in the Smith Center, our ability to uh, utilize stagecraft and visual images and film in ways we've never been able to before we've designed the entire 12-13 season to capture the spirit that comes between music and image. I'm the envy of all my friends and I have many friends in not New York Philharmonic, Cincinnati Symphony, uh, Milwaukee Symphony, Minnesota Orchestra, Atlanta Symphony and all of them want to and Cleveland, Cleveland is coming. Um, but all of them are so jealous that this is our house. They said, you guys have this great hall because the ultimate dream of a musician is to play in a grand hall that is untouched by other halls. I've lived here a long time and um, have seen many different groups that, that talked about doing something like the Smith Center, getting a, a major performing arts center here. They've been all kinds of other uh, people who got together and discussed and argued and organized and then fell apart and uh, I think what Don Snyder and Myron Martin did to finally get this off the ground is amazing. It's like a miracle. I knew this project would become a reality the moment uh, Don Snyder said it would become a reality. You know, he, he, uh, uh, he has a magic touch. He's a wonderful fundraiser. He's believable, he's, he's honest and, and sincere, and uh, when he, he asks people to do something, they usually step up and do it. Uh, so when Don said, this world-class performing arts center will happen in Las Vegas, I knew that this was a real thing. I've, uh, I I've been blessed uh, over the years to uh, have both good jobs and, and good opportunities to get involved uh, in the community. And I'm very proud of a lot of the things that I've done, whether it's uh, with the United Ways, the Nathan Adelson Hospice, the universities, the school district, whatever, whatever I've had a chance to do, uh, I've had a chance to do it and feel really good about it. But the Smith Center is something special. Uh, the Smith Center uh, is something that for the next, uh, uh, next many, many generations is going to define a lot of what I had a chance to do in the community uh, and to give back uh, to a community that's been very important to us. So the, the Smith Center, people talk about legacies. Yeah, I think uh, for Dee and me, this is a legacy and it's one that we're very proud of. To you both, congratulations. We love you. We hope you live to be 2,000 years old so you can see how this wonderful center progresses and touches everybody. Not 2,000. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs>